All right, good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's nice and early. There's two kinds of Floridians here. It's 65 degrees, so you're all bundled up. I just have a sweater and capris. <laughs> it's not bundled. Meanwhile, I'm here in shorts and a t-shirt. Yes, we're on our way to yet another Cars and Coffee. So we actually haven't been to a car show in a, about a minute. We're actually on our way to DuPont Cars and Coffee for the first time in a long time. Saying last time you were at DuPont was when my car broke. <laughs> oh no! I think, that was, I think yeah, I think that was the last time she was at DuPont. She was with me when the transmission decided to go out. Yep. But this is actually this one's actually a little bit different. It's not DuPont at DuPont Registry. It's DuPont on the river. So it's Tampa Bay Armature Works. So something a little bit unique. I'm actually very excited because this is gonna be a different location. I don't think we've ever been to this location. And supposedly there's a drive-in over there. I've always wanted to go to a drive-in. So that's on our bucket list. We want to do a drive-in theater. Take this car and go there. So anyway, cold start. You ready? Sure. It's in quiet mode, so it's not gonna be. Yeah, it's not much of a cold start in quiet mode. Anyway, we're on our way to Starbucks, cause coffee? Yes, very coffee. Coffee. Let's go get coffee, so we'll see you all at Starbucks. All right, made it to Starbucks. Oh, that's right, cause 2020 problems. I've basically given up on wearing masks to go around my ears. I basically wear these now. This is the entrance, right? Yeah, something like that. Or it's over here. I don't know. We're struggling to use Starbucks. Don't mind us. Starbucks. Alright, guess who got her coffee? Yeah, we're basic. Peppermint mocha, it's Christmas season, bitches. It's Christmas season, so guess what? It's peppermint mocha and we're basic. Hang on, I gotta unlock your door here. Oh. Yeah, she got a venti and I got a, a grande. Someone really needed her coffee. guys give her a minute to enjoy her coffee and then we're gonna be on our way to cars and coffee so we've got our coffee now go see cars Here we've just noticed someone is not impressed with the Pagani Waira. It's ugly. It looks like a, I don't like it. I love that. No. Trying to explain how many millions of dollars it costs and that we'll never be able to afford this. I don't care. It's ugly to me. I prefer glasses. I know you do. I mean that's that's part of what you're paying money for, but. All right, guys, here's one I have actually never seen in person. Spiker. I don't even honestly know the name. Is it, I believe it's a C8. Someone, someone can tell me if I'm wrong. With the, I think it's really cool how you have the exposed linkages and everything. Quilted interior. Got like the aluminum. I think these are really cool. I don't know about you. You probably are. It's okay. Man. I love it. Yeah, C8. I believe it's an Audi V8. Someone, again, someone can correct me if I'm wrong. I just love it. They're very stylish. It's, style was intended to be priority number one when they designed these cars. I believe that, I don't know if they even still make them. This is a car I remember seeing years ago in video games, TV, pictures. I've never seen one of these in person, so this is one of those. I know, you wouldn't get it. You're not, you haven't been a lifelong car person. Style of it. I just think, I don't know if this brand is even still around. That's actually a really good question. Someone's gonna have to correct me on all of that. Yeah, the exposed pedal linkage. I love it. I know, man. Or even the gas cap, it's got their logo on it. Nice. Attention to detail. You just don't get cars like that all the time. Mm -hmm. Only And the only ones that have it, are, you can't afford it. 
I mean, I've got a 68 Camaro right here. 68. I love this body style of Camaro, but I think everybody does. Yeah. They just look really good. And we got a nice air cooled 911. Again, I, I still think this is someday. If these ever come back down in value and I have money, I'm going to get an air cooled 911. It's a bucket list car. We got a bandit. Your bucket list car is so long. I know my bucket need list. Need a second life. My bucket list is ridiculously long. I'm smoking the bandit car. I really love this. Oh, is that a manual one? Yeah, that's. I believe that's pretty rare. What's up? <laughs> I said you love it even more now that it's a manual. Oh, it's manual. You don't see these in manual. They're almost all auto. I believe actually the manuals were. I don't know the exact figure, but I'm, someone quoted it the other day. I thought these only came in an auto. Someone railed, yeah, they, they have a manual option. It's just not very common. Really love that. Got to snap some pictures now. Classic BMW M5. Yep. Oh, that's the same one we Yeah, it's the same one we were here earlier. I was gonna say, that's the same one. That's like, wow, the same scars twice. Yeah, we came around here once without the camera. We were drinking our coffee. We talked to the owner of this BMW. Really cool guy. We got a Buick Skylark. I know this is why you want the classics. You want. Do you look at the light? You want something, some build like this if we ever get the Galaxy. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. The color is pretty too. Yeah, the color, the nice deep blue. I know you really like that light blue that the galaxies came in. Light, dark. I like blue. You know. I know. Blue's your favorite color. It's like me with red, so I can't talk. It's a light green Got Noble. I think that's an M400. Very rare British kit, kit car looking thing. Oh, yeah, you all, you all already know I really badly want a C10 at some point in my life. Here's a GMC C10 with the modern Vortec motor. Yeah. It's Army Green. Looks like the guy probably served in the Air Force at some point. Yeah, 1500 V8. I guess technically it's not quite a C10 if it's a GMC 1500. Someone can correct me on that. I think of these as C10s. Interior at some point in my life, I'm definitely going to own a classic truck like this. We got the... Yep. That'll be awesome someday. We got the wooden bed in here. No tailgate, though. It needs a tailgate. I really love that. I just love classic trucks. But then again, for me, I always have had trucks. So it's like, for me, that's what I want. All right, I'm gonna take walk around here. This is, I like to call this the area we could maybe afford half the cars here. Yeah, here we go. We got the C2 Corvettes. I really love this color right here, the red on the C2. I, I, I don't know, if I'm gonna have a Corvette, definitely at some point I think I want to get a C2. I know Street Speed just bought the C2, so it's like now I'd be copying him, but something about it. Classic Lincoln Land Yacht. Mark IV Lincoln. I always love the big classic Lincolns like that. VW. Yeah, she knows my secret love of like VWs and other German cars. I always love that, the, the VW pickup trucks. Because the whole sides come down. It's like they don't make trucks like that anymore. That'd be cool, it's practical. 1967, they don't, they just don't make things like that. We got a, Hachi Roku. Oh, you have to learn how to drive with the steering wheel on the wrong side. Yeah, I don't know about that. manual, so you're shifting with your left hand. Huh. Oh, these are cool. I always love the classic Hachi Roku. We've got a 32 deuce over there. Let's see it now. Stuff's in the way. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, I'll get a picture in a minute. I'll come back. I'll come around. Okay, so you really like the C1 too? Yep, I like classics. You like? Half eight or four of that. I will ride in a classic. Yep. That's it. Yeah, I know you don't want a model. If I got a new one, it'd be for me. It would literally only be for me for the weekends you work. Yep. But I do. I know. I agree with you. I do like the classics. Just get a classic. Air cooled. Another air-cooled 911. We got a Defender over here. 
and my love of four-wheel drives attracts me to a Defender. Yeah, left-hand drive, export 1994. Manual, which I really like. I know. Not really love Defenders. Still tired? No, 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 I can be tired when I drink all that damn coffee. I really love the Defender. To me, the, the new one just is not the same. I really like the old body style, the old box one. The new one's just too curvy. I like, I don't know. Me, my love of four-wheel drives. Tracks me to old boxy things. You just like boxy stuff. Yep, boxy vehicles. Oh, we, got a nice, we got another Super Bird over here. I think this one looks like it's probably much more original. This is the... What we got here. I don't know anything about these motors. I know they came with the Hemi and they had a couple of other options. That's a 440. So the, the Magnum. That's Wiley Coyote. Wiley Coyote. Well, it's, well, that's the joke. This is a Roadrunner Superbird. So you got Roadrunner and Coyote. I see. It's again the big wing and a. Actually, no, if this is an original one, yes, this is the one worth about $200,000. Limit. Yeah, that wing, that wing's actually because it had to clear the trunk. So the trunk was still open. Yeah, they're pretty rare. They only made like a couple thousand of these back in the day. Again, my secret love of, not really secret, because I've mentioned it enough times on this channel, my love of German classics. This is actually my mom's first car back in the day. It was a VW Bug. You like bigger cars when I'm grew. It's too small. I mean, it'd be one of those, if I got one, it'd be for me. No, I don't really, it wouldn't be for you necessarily. The Galaxy will be for, for you. 1300. I'm not bike guy, we got. That's actually cool. Deal with it. That's silly. Take a picture of this bug real quick. All right, yeah, so this just caught our eye. We got a Chevy Cummins powered 3100. The redneck edition. That's actually pretty cool. It's a Cummins swap. That's actually really cool. You, you don't see it, things like that a lot. And then meanwhile, then we have another Cummins swapped. Dodge Crew Cab. I have a weakness for crew cabs. And then someone has a weakness for blue, as it turns out. I really love that. I'd love something like this. And a crew cab, so you can actually fit people, or you can fit gear in them. That's something you just you can't do with like a, a two-door truck, like a regular cab. That's something you just cannot do that with. So I really love it. Yeah, we got the we got a golf themed fox. It's got Wiley Coyote. I don't know if that's I wonder if that's supposed to be an allusion to this being Coyote Swap. It'd actually be really cool if it was. That's cute. I the, like it. The golf fox. Yeah, yeah it's like plot test. Like I got you into fox bodies. Sure he likes it. I don't know. It seems like we saw a bunch of them for a while. They're all they've all been drag cars, been modded out. So this is like finally one that actually is tastefully done. Or you see, I think we saw a stock one a while ago, and she really liked it. Yep. So I think I've sold her on Fox bodies. They're not, they're not the most stylish Mustang in the world, but it's like they still look good. Got another classic Chevy truck that's caught her eye. Usually you don't like yellow, so it's like that's something you actually like. I don't like bright ass yellow. I like this is okay. It's neutral. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's I, I'll give her that. Another Shelby Cobra, El Camino. Oh, here we go, Buick. It's like Grand National here. We got. Looks like it's pretty original too. Usually they're, they're modified. It's a really quick car back in its day. Another C2 Corvette. Oh, this this right here. This is engine bay goals. Looks like a Gen 2 Coyote with some form of supercharger. Magnet Charger, I've never heard of that brand. Love that, the classic Mustang. Now we come around inside here, it looks like it is in fact a T56. So definitely love that stick shift. I love these racing seats. All right, time to start foraging for food because guess who's hungry? It's like you're not. Yeah, I already am. I'm always hungry, so believe me, I'm used to constantly being hungry. Luckily, we're in a place with food, so 
Just gonna go see what's around over here. I got some entertainment there. An abrupt transition from food right back to outside, but had a nice little burnout competition going. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, basically, they're, they're, a couple weeks ago we went to Leadfoot City and you'll watch an actual burnout competition. This time it was like, man, we got it for free. And honestly, I think that was, that was more fun. Yeah, I mean, I want to do one to burnouts again. <laughs> yeah, I got more cars in, cars in motion. Yeah, see, there's still people leaving. Revving and burning. <laughs> Problem is with me, it's like, see, I, I'm, I'm not going to do a burnout. I don't want to end up being a Mustang statistic. I'll probably give everybody a couple revs and maybe accelerate a little bit. That's about all I'm capable of doing. I just, I don't want to be a Mustang statistic in a viral Mustang video. Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. The car gets, the car gets sideways enough normally. <laughs> No, I will say this though, if we do get the Galaxy, 
I still want to put at least some form of exhaust on it. It's got to make a little bit of sound. Yeah, I agree. Just for, you know, when you rev it, when we leave different car shows, people, people they get a little bit of a show. It's going to be a show car. It's got a, got a sound. You can rev go. It. I'm not doing that shit. Oh, I'd rev it. Uh, but it's, got, it's got to have some sound to it. I don't know. I think, I think we're done here. I think we've seen everything. I'm people are starting to head out. Go, I think. It's going to rain. Yeah, it's starting to drizzle on us a little bit, so definitely want to get out of here before it starts pouring rain. I'm so glad I washed my car for this. Now, stuff is still leaving. Revving still. Anyway. Oh, the revving. Anyway, let me know in the comments section below what you think about all of this. Let me know what your car, which car is your favorite. What would you say your favorite was today? I don't know. I can't really decide. You know that. I know. I got about 10 favorites, so don't mind me. Definitely got a lot of cool cars to choose from. This is definitely a success. They're back. As we walk away, we're back to the bird house. As we walk away. Guess who loves burnouts now? <laughs> Yeah, let me know, Devin, let me know what you think about all that. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you are stopping for the first time, go ahead and subscribe, because hoping to bring you all more videos like that in the future. Anyway, take care, have a good day.